Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at a light that a lot of people have been asking about, Zebra Light SC600. As you can tell, it still comes in their super nice, fancy packaging of a brown cardboard box, but uh, the light that you get in here is pretty awesome, so ignore the box. There's the light itself. We'll set that to the side for just a second. Not a whole lot of stuff comes with this one. You just get spare O-rings, and that's pretty much it. From what I hear, they are still working on a pocket clip for this. Operator's manual, you do get that. It's worth a read, as with any flashlight, just in case you uh, didn't know about a special mode or something you should be aware of or anything. So, set the packaging to the side. This is an 18650 powered light, so we're going to open it up, put a single 18650 in there. Got one of the blue truss fire ones that we use in all our display lights and everything. People ask what we recommend, and I recommend these because they work pretty well, especially for the price. So, there is the light. We'll zoom in. You can see the details a little bit better. Same kind of olive uh, anodizing that they use on most of their lights. You can see the switch on this one's really recessed. That was a big complaint that a lot of people had about their, uh, their other lights, like the little SC30 that I always have in my pocket. It does come on in the pocket pretty easily. Um, I usually just loosen up the tail cap so it doesn't turn on. But this one, the switch is so recessed that that's not really an issue. Something would have to really get in there for it to turn on on accident. But there's the reflector, that Cree XML LED in there. And this is right now by far the highest output Zebra light that they make, but uh, still pretty compact. You can see it still fits in the hands really easily. This is their biggest light, but by no means a big light. Zoom in so you can see the laser marks and all that. There's the back of the light. Turn it around a little bit. All right, so the interface on this light, I absolutely love the Zebra Light interface. It's the same that they use on all of their current lights. What you have is access to three different modes from off. And the way to get to those three different modes is if you just tap the switch, you get your max output. Double click it and it goes into the medium output. And then press and hold and you have the lowest output. And each of those has a secondary mode as well. Like for instance, this lowest output, which is less than a lumen, double click it, you have two different ones that you can choose between. And the same with the medium, we'll get into the double click, and once it's on, double click it, and you have two different outputs that you can choose between. And then same with the high, if you turn it on, double click it, two different outputs that you can choose between. And each one of those, it actually memorizes, so whichever one you have, it'll uh, memorize the output for each of the three different mode groups. And you can see, if you hold down the button, it'll actually cycle through your three different mode groups, and you can just let go when you see the one that you want. So if you find uh, the interface a little bit confusing, the tap, the double click, and then the, the press and hold, then uh, what you can do is just press and hold it, and it'll cycle through and just let go when you see the one that you want. All right, so that is the interface for the ZebraLite SC600. We're gonna go and take it outside and we'll show you how this guy does outside. Okay, here is that ZebraLite SC600. Got the big 40 mag light that we always use to compare it to. Let's go ahead and give that mag light a shot first. See how it does. There's that little bush 15 feet away. Tree out there at 100 feet. We'll zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. All right, let's try out the ZebraLite. See how it does. There you go. You can see a ton, a ton of light coming out of this little guy. You see why it's a customer favorite. 15 feet, obviously no problem. 100 feet, obviously no problem. Even out to 100 yards, which you'll see in a little while. This thing does pretty well. But a whole heck of a lot of light coming out of this guy. And it has a relatively small reflector for that big XML LED. So you can see it has a nice big hot spot. Lights up a whole lot at once. I'm shining it around. And we'll point it down to the ground cycle through the different outputs. You can't really see it, but the uh, lowest output does actually light up the ground in front of you. And if I bump it up to the second output of the lowest mode, you can see it lights up the ground. Not too bad. And then obviously on high, lights up everything really, really well. We'll zoom in on that again, just so you can see how well lights up everything out at that kind of distance. All right, let's try a longer distance, see how it does. 
All right, here's the distance shot for the SC600. I'll try out that mag light first. There is the house at 50 yards, tree in the front yard at 100 yards. Lights up the house okay, can barely see the tree. Let's try out that SC600. Tiny little light, a whole heck of a lot of light coming out of it though. We'll shine it around a little bit. You can see different colors and distances and stuff. Obviously 50 yards is no problem. And even over 100 yards, top of that tree out there, you can see, lights it up no problem. Lights it up pretty darn well. Zoom out. Shine it around just a little bit. So there you go. That is the Zebralite SC600 powered by one 18650 battery. Takes an X, or has an XML LED. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of flashlight videos.